Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Acts chapter 12, where Peter was arrested but then rescued by an angel, and where an angel killed King Herod. King Herod captured some Christians and tortured them. Herod captured the disciple James and had him killed with a sword. When he saw how much this pleased some of the Jewish people that hated Jesus, Herod captured Peter too. Herod planned on publicly killing Peter after the Passover, but many people were praying for Peter's release. Peter was kept in prison with four squads of soldiers guarding him. After the Passover, on the very night when Herod was about to have Peter killed, an angel of the Lord appeared in the cell. A great light lit up the prison. The angel said, get up and move quickly. Get dressed and follow me. Peter and the angel passed by the first set of guards and then the second. They left the prison. Then the iron gate of the city suddenly unlocked itself and they left the city. The angel then departed from Peter. When Peter understood what happened, he laughed and praised God. He thought it was a dream at first, but it was no dream. Peter raced to the house of Mary, John Mark's mother, where many people were praying for Peter's release. And Peter knocked and knocked. No one would let him in. Finally, a servant girl went to the door and saw Peter and was shocked. Forgetting to open the door, she ran to tell everyone that God had answered their prayers. But no one believed her until Peter knocked many more times. They were amazed that God actually listened to their prayers. Peter then told the group that someone should hurry and tell James, the half-brother of Jesus, and the rest of the brothers what had happened. When morning came, Herod gave orders for Peter to be brought out to be killed. He was shocked to find Peter was gone. Herod was so angry that he ordered all of the soldiers that were guarding Peter to be killed, and they were all executed. Herod thought he was important because people obeyed his orders. One day, Herod scheduled a speech. He was going to speak to the people. They were reliant on Herod to provide food to their country, so they flattered him. Herod started giving his speech after putting on his royal robes. The people said, oh, that is not the voice of a man. Herod is a god. Little did Herod know that they were saying that because they wanted something from him. But Herod waved his hand and thought to himself, yes, perhaps they are right. Perhaps I am a god. I do provide these people with bread and circuses. Just then, an angel of the Lord touched King Herod's forehead, and he melted into a bloody pile of flesh. Worms ate him from the inside out, and he died in front of the horrified crowd who was calling him a god. The most important verses in this chapter are Acts 12, 21 through 24, which state, And upon a set day, Herod, arrayed in royal apparel, sat upon his throne and made an oration unto them. And the people gave a shout, saying, It is the voice of a god, and not of a man. And immediately the angel of the Lord smote him, because he gave not God the glory. And he was eaten of worms, and he gave up the ghost. But the word of God grew and multiplied. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that the believers were praying for Peter's release from prison. But when God said yes to their prayer and took care of business, they were shocked. God does not want us to be shocked that he would answer our prayers, but he does want us to be thankful when it does happen. God wants us to see that if he can rescue Peter out of prison with many guards surrounding him, facing certain death, he can rescue us from the situations we are facing. And God wants us to know that he has the power to strike any wicked person down any time he chooses. So we should trust that he knows what he is doing when he allows wicked people to do what they do. Are you shocked and surprised when God answers your prayers? Perhaps you have never prayed to him before. Today would be a great day to start. Repent for your sin and turn to the Lord for salvation today. 
Jesus humbled himself and died on the cross as my substitute and your substitute. And the Father raised Jesus from the dead. God said that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, you would be saved. Why don't you do that right now? And thanks for watching the Acts chapter 12 episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Subscribe if you want to keep up with these daily videos too. And see you next time.